Although you probably never thought something in a vending machine could save your life. But a local Navy pilot says it was a can of Coca-Cola that helped him rescue a family lost at sea. So we're not trained at all in this type of mission. Navy Lieutenant Commander Todd Nichols flies people and supplies in the C-130 aircraft. He doesn't rescue people. But on a quick mission to Guam last Friday, the Coast Guard knew there was a family of five lost at sea and asked Nichols and his team for help. With 12 hours notice, I notified the rest of our seven crew members. They were the only plane in the entire Pacific Command equipped for the mission, so they set out on what could have been an impossible task. Going into the mission, the expectations I think were low for most of the crew. Three hours into the rescue mission, first engineer Joshua Simmons was sitting next to Nichols when he thought he saw a flash in the distance. I didn't believe him at first. I, was, I thought maybe he just saw something. The first thought that went through my head was uh, complete disbelief. I thought there's absolutely no way I just saw what I just saw. What he saw was a can of Coca-Cola. Five miles out, the family stranded at sea was using the soda to try and signal anyone in the area for help. I can't believe what these guys must be thinking. They've been out here at sea for seven days, surviving on rainwater and, and maybe fish if they were that fortunate enough to be able to catch some fish. And all of a sudden they see a uh, United States Navy C-130 fly over the top of them. The closest ship that could help them was a Japanese merchant marine boat 70 miles away. So Nichols and the crew kept the small fishing boat in their sights for five and a half hours until that boat could get there. It was very difficult to keep our eyes on and keep tabs of where these folks were as they continued to drift. And it was down to the wire. The C-130 was running out of fuel when the boat finally arrived to save the family of five. They made it on board safely and the crew fueled up and headed back to Jacksonville. We all agreed across the board that this is by far the most uh, worthwhile and memorable uh, mission that we've ever had the uh, privilege to be a part of. Now, because they had to go get fuel, the team never got to meet that family that they saved, but they say knowing they're safe is good enough for them. And first for you tonight, while well, that can of Coke came in handy, the Coast Guard says whenever you're heading out on a boat, you should always have flares and a distress radio in case you need to call for help. Reporting live, Caitlin Ross, First Coast News.